Hello, my name is Steve Harden. I'm the CEO and founder of Life Wings, and this is another edition of the Life Wings Leadership Lab. Today, we're going to analyze the question of why you want to be a leader. What is your motivation for being a leader and shifting that motivation from getting to giving? And once you shift that motivation, what impact does that have on your effectiveness as a leader? Today we're answering the question, uh, what kind of leader are you? Are you a getter or a giver? You know, what is your motivation for wanting a leadership position within your organization? It's important to answer this question because how you answer the question ultimately impacts your effectiveness as a leader. There are essentially only two types of leaders in the world. Uh, on one end of the spectrum are those who are uh, transactional and on the other end of the spectrum are those who are transformational. So what is transactional? Uh, a transactional leader is primarily focused on me. They're interested in a leadership position for what it can do for them and uh, the power, the prestige, the perks, um, the privileges that come with being a leader within the organization. You know, does it look good on their resume? Does it give them an opportunity to have an impact on, on the organization? Now, we've all worked for leaders that have a me focus. Um, you know, quite frankly, the world revolves around them and, and what they want to do. And sometimes working for a tra transactional leader with a me focus is, is quite difficult. At the other end of the scale are transformational leaders. Uh, they're primarily interested in leadership because it provides them an opportunity to uh, work with others, to be coaches, to be mentors, to do training, to teaching, you know, basically to be a blessing to other uh, folks, uh, to be a blessing to the folks they work with and to the folks that, that work for them. Uh, so they're really, their focus is not on themselves, but it's on the team. At, they have more of a team focus. So those that have a, uh, a me focus uh, are primarily uh, in a mindset of getting. What can I get uh, from being a leader? Those that have a focus on others are primarily focused on giving. What of myself can I give to others to help them improve their lives and their performance? Uh, how can I coach, mentor, teach, and train? And uh, together, you know, we will meet the organizational mission and the organizational goals. This is another way of saying that, um, uh, uh, responding to that old adage that it is amazing what the organization can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. So transformational leaders are always looking to see how can I give away credit? How can I give praise? Uh, knowing that the more they give away, the more they'll ultimately get in terms of organizational effectiveness. Now, um, another way to look at this is um, through management or, or leadership models. So the classic leadership model, the hierarchical model, uh, is in the shape of a pyramid. And uh, under this model, the leader would be at the top of the pyramid. And uh, everyone else that uh, works for them or with them uh, represents the bottom or the foundation of the pyramid. And uh, so we put them down here. So in this model of leadership, the leader sees the team as a resource that the leader can use to get the job done, right? So uh, you approach every relationship, every uh, interaction you have with the team in a transactional mindset because you see them as a resource that they can do something for you. Now, the uh, one way to turn this model completely on its head uh, is to put the team at the top of the model. So they are at the top of the hierarchy and the leader puts him or herself down at the bottom. And under this model of leadership, 
uh, you're primarily a barrier buster, right? So the team does what they do, and when they run up against a barrier in the organization that only you can solve because of your position or your authority or your responsibility in the organization, then they come for you and you bust that wall down for them. So uh, the leader is, in fact, uh, a resource for the team. This model of leadership is called servant leadership or being a servant leader. And I can tell you that after um, 20 years of watching and working with almost 200 different leadership teams in the United States and around the world, that over time, the more effective leaders who get more done and are able to move the organization where it needs to be moved, uh, work under the servant leadership model and they see themselves as a resource to be used by the team uh, when there's a barrier that needs to be broken down. So being transformational will uh, make you a much more effective leader over time, and I've seen that over the course of the last 20 years. Now, to be honest, um, this is not a stark, uh, you know, black-white uh, dichotomy. Uh, sometimes. Uh, we all sort of tend to be uh, transactional. Uh, I think that's our natural state of affairs. It's easy to be transactional. And, um, and you know, when we're, when we're under a lot of pressure, we, we tend to do that. Uh, and some days we're more transformational. Maybe we're under less pressure and we have time to invest in our people. Um, but I can tell you the more effective leaders uh, spend most of their time on the transformational end of the scale than they do on the transactional end of the scale. And so we want to work our way into being transformational. That's a learned behavior. So how do we do that? Well, the action step for this particular uh, leadership lab is to think of someone on your team that needs a bit of your time. Uh, they need a transformational interaction with you. They need some coaching. They need some mentoring. They need some, a word of advice. Maybe they need some frank feedback on their performance. Um, and by the way, being transformational does not mean that you're soft and you don't hold uh, your team accountable. Uh, transformational means you do hold the team accountable and if their performance is not measuring up to agreed standards of performance, then a transformational leader is going to sit down and have that conversation with them and do some mentoring or coaching and give them the skills to work through that dip in their performance. Right? So our action step is for you to think about somebody on your team who needs a bit of your time, somebody who uh, you can go coach or mentor or give some feedback. And so whoever's face uh, popped into your mind when I gave you that action step, uh, go do that. Go spend time with that person and uh, have a transformational uh, relationship with them and do some coaching and do some teaching. All right? Don't put it off. Don't procrastinate. Get it on your to-do list. Do it today. Do it first thing tomorrow and act your way into being more of a transformational uh, leader. If you'd like to go deeper into this topic, I highly recommend a book called The Servant Leader. Uh, the link to the book will be on this YouTube post. It's also on my blog, and I'll give you the links for all that on this post. And um, I think it will really transform uh, your leadership style and make you much more effective as a leader. And if you want to go deeper, it will really show you how to operate uh, in this mode of, uh, of leadership style. Uh, if you like this uh, video, uh, please share it, please like it, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you work with someone that's more transactional than they are transformational, share this video with them. Um, you know, maybe this will be useful for them, maybe they'll get the hint and uh, they'll realize that there's a better way to do business. Uh, remember that the world needs great leaders, and great leaders are made, not born. Uh, thank you for your investment and your journey in becoming a better leader, and I wish you every success.